Okay, so here's the amp. We need to replace the tubes, but to do that, we're going to have to bias it. So let's go and find where it is, and then you can do it yourself. Okay, well, there it is. If you can see right there, let me just get stable. Right there, there's the bias pot, that little hole there, in the Blackmore Angle 100 watt amp. Now, in the scheme of things, let's just take it back so you can see where it is, although it's going to be pretty hard to see. That's not the whole uh, deal, but uh, at least you get an idea of what uh, you're looking for. Right next to this big capacitor here, that's where you'll find it, and that's what will adjust your bias once you retube. There it is right there. Okay, so now what I've got to do is I have to adjust that so that I can bring my milliamps back down to 26. Now I've got a, uh, a bias stick, if you can see that. That's a little stick I made. Well, I think it's one of those meat skewer thingos. And I just put it in here. Obviously you just keep the other hand free. You'll see the bias go down. Now I want 26. No, not 26.9, 26, that's what I want. I ruined it, the stick before, because I had to get it to go flat out to try and get it to where I wanted it. Okay, so there's 26, that's exactly what I want. That's about 30% of, um, of the limit I, I want to go to. So if I stay around there, we should have tubes that hang in there for a while. And uh, can I just recommend that this little unit saves having to poke one of these things around in there and get your, your current and switch and carry on. All I've done with this, this um, uh, Eurotubes unit here. So here we have the, the setup. The Eurotubes uh, socket goes under any of these valves. These are a match set, so you can just do one of the valves if you wish to. And uh, then you get your readings and you can adjust straight from there once you've found your bias pot. Now, the, the th what all I've done is just whacked in a stack of uh, 5881s, Sovtex, WXTs, I think they are. The first is a, a Ruby, Ruby tube. Second and third are both Penta Labs. And on to the fourth, is just your normal run-of-the-mill Sovtec. They're all 12 uh, AX7s as now no doubt I could have done a lot better than that but that's what was in it and I was happy with the sound. All we've done is just changed around these preamp uh, tubes here. Alright so there's a tour of what's going on here that's um, at, a, at a level that that I, I think is going to be good for what I'll be doing. Uh, when I checked it out uh, this morning when I first started I went through all the all the power tubes and uh, the bias was actually turned right off it was down at 20 the plate current uh, was just reading 20 so then I've turned it all the way up and now back to a safer level so that we can get a bit more life out of the tubes as you guys know you can always check and um, have a look at the mathematics to work out how to get uh, the sweet spot for your your bias and there is a window it's just like tuning a car and the thing I must stress about this sort of uh, work is that this unit here is excellent because you don't have to touch anything in, inside except for that bias pot and I've got this little wooden uh, skewer or whatever you like I've just sharpened the end as you can see there although it's a bit worn off from over <laughs> overdoing it um, but it's so safe to do it like this but you really do have to have your wits about you but these things will um will bite you <laughs> but
but once again don't touch anything if you don't know but if you can find the bias pot and now we've shown you where that bias pot is you're just going to find that so much easier to work on um, once again if anyone knows anything about this little uh, what could we call it it's like a little pot or a little just focus in there if I can see that shape in there it looks like it could be some sort of the three points here look like they could be some sort of bias uh, pot on the back there but it hasn't got the typical bias slit it's a bit bigger so it might be for something else but I'd like to know what that is if some angle technician could uh, just give me a, a quick note in the comments down below <laughs> hopefully you won't get the sack all right so there you go so it's doable and for all you guys who've been asking about it here's at least a video that gives you an idea of what to do and hopefully you'll be able to um, uh, get in contact with Euro tubes excellent Doug uh, from Doug's tubes was great he matched me up a set of tubes here done the job I found out what was the culprit so I'll be able to use some of those tubes in maybe amps other amps at some other time just once again please be careful if you don't know what you're doing with this sort of stuff do a week's research on YouTube but make sure you've got one hand behind your back when you're doing something in there uh, at the same time as I've said many times before uh, open it up and uh, do your research and see how you go